Happy Earth Day, everyone. Every year on April 22nd, around the world, we celebrate what we call Earth Day. Earth Day is a time that we can celebrate the good things in nature and how to protect nature, such as reducing, reusing, and recycling. When we think about those three words, we think about reducing. Reducing things like the gasoline that goes into your mom and dad's car. If you use less gas and you walk places or bike places or take mass transportation, meaning that you take a bus or some kind of train or a plane, that's better than using all of that gas. Water, when you actually take a, a shower at night, instead of doing an eight minute, 10 minute, or even a longer shower, take a three to five minute shower. And I know it sounds like you can't get everything done in that time, but you really can. And then also when you think about water, when you brush your teeth, you brush your teeth in the morning, many people don't believe and don't think that that hurts the earth or wastes water. If you try it sometime, try to take a bucket, put it in front of your toothbrush, pretend you're brushing your teeth as long as you would, take it, turn the water back off when you're done, and see how much water you've added to that bucket. Take that and water your plants with it. Don't throw it down the drain, because even though water going down the drain doesn't seem wasteful, it is. It's hard to get that back. And we only have so much water in this world to use as fresh, clean water for drinking and eating purposes. So Earth Day started in 1970, and they decided around the world to celebrate this Earth Day. But every day should be Earth Day, not just one day, but we are aware of things that happen on that day. So then we can take a look at how we're going to use Earth Day and the things that we do good on Earth Day uh, over the whole year. So I have a lesson here this morning that I want to start with, and I know it's a lot of talking and not a lot of going out into nature, but it's very important on Earth Day to do this. So I have a list of things that would be consumed or breaking down into the earth. We call that composting, meaning that if you break it down into the earth, it turns back into soil and usable for plants to, to grow in. Well, if you have a banana peel and you take it and you throw the banana peel under the ground, it takes three to four weeks to actually have that banana peel break down into the earth. But it does. A paper bag. Paper is recyclable, but one month it takes if you throw it on the ground and let it lay there. And then another one that really just is amazing, a can, an aluminum can. If you drink soda from it, that aluminum can takes almost 200 or between 200 and 500 years to break down. That's incredible. That means it'll never really break down in time to help the earth grow new plants or new trees. And then the glass bottle or the styrofoam cup that you may use, that is also unbelievable, unknown. They don't know if it ever breaks down. So that is that. Now, I did forget something though. Let's go back. I said about reducing your water and your gasoline, but I don't think we talked about reuse and recycle. So I'm going to do that for a minute and then we're going to go into our lesson for today. Reuse, meaning after you reduce the amount of what you use, then you reuse. So that means if you have anything that is like a glass bottle and you got pickles in or mayonnaise, take that and reuse it plant plants in it or maybe use it to do something else as uh, plant, uh, putting things in the refrigerator and using that. You want to reuse what you already have. And then if you can't reduce and you can't reuse anymore, then recycle. We always talked about that, that recycling shouldn't really happen if you reuse and reduce. So we do want to recycle if that's the only thing we can do. But if you reduce first and then reuse second, then you would be able to recycle soda cans, glass bottles, things that would be taken to a factory and broken down. The only thing is when you think about going to a factory, there's a lot of energy that is used to break those supplies down, the glass, the aluminum, the paper. So you wanna to try to reduce and reuse first. Reusing another thing is really great for kids. When you're doing something in school or when you're doing something with coloring a page that you really like, turn it over and use the other side or make notes. Maybe your parents make notes on, on for lists, the store list or something like that. Use that, cut the paper and reuse that. I know that I do that at home all the time. So let's get into this lesson a little bit. It's healthy earth, sick earth. I'm gonna show you some things that are gonna help us to make it a healthy earth. 
and a sick earth. So let's do the sick earth first. Let's do that and get that out of the way because we don't like these things. These are these are bad things. So when you think about things like littering, a lot of people will litter. So here's here's a picture of the littering. We should always take what we use. If we drink something, if we eat something, don't throw it in the don't throw it on the ground because there it'll never get picked up and then it's yucky and people have to touch that and pick it up and throw it in a trash can for you. So always make sure you take your trash and throw it in the trash can. Pollution. We always learn and we taught that when I was when I was teaching that to students in school, we always talked about pollution. Three parts or three types, land, water, and air. And if we don't take care of our land, water, and air, we're not going to have those resources. They're called natural resources. We're not going to have them in the future. So we have to make sure we do not pollute our land, water, and air. Cutting trees down. People say, well, how does that hurt the earth? Well, we get a lot of oxygen from those trees. So if we cut the trees down and we don't replace them, if we don't replant trees, Mr. Larry at Burke's Nature is always saying, and I agree with him, plant a tree, plant a tree and make sure that you keep it healthy and let it grow tall because the more trees we have, the more we have oxygen. They love, the trees love to take our carbon dioxide out of the air and put it into their trees and in their leaves and stems. That's how they survive. And then you have leaving the computer on when you are not using it. I did this a few weeks ago for a tip for Burke's Nature's website or the Facebook page. If you are not using a computer, an iPhone, whatever it may be electronically, turn it off because it saves electricity and then you don't have to plug it in as much. And if it is something like a computer, then you don't have to have that running because it keeps running the whole time is truly off if it's not unplugged. And then now let's talk about some of the good things for nature. Let's talk about some of the things that we do and we do well. Throwing something out that can be reused. You can throw it out in the recycling reducing method, not to just throw it out to get rid of it in the trash. So reuse it, recycle it and reuse it. If we have what we call solar panels, a lot of people are starting to use the sun. They take that sun and they allow that sun to come down and hit panels that heat up our buildings. And that's a great way to save on energy. You don't have the electric bill and you don't have the heating bill as high. Turning off lights when not in use. When you're in a room and you need a light, turn it on. But then when you go out of that room, turn it back off because that saves electricity as well. Thinking green, ways that we can promote healthy ways that are natural and not made or store-bought ways, thinking green around the globe, around the earth. This is a good one for your mommy and your daddy, or if you are watching and you do this, that's great. Carpooling. Instead of putting one car on the road with one person and then another car with another person, that's a long, that's a, that's a way to actually misuse gas and the cars. If you have four or five in a car, you're saving maybe two or three other cars on the road, and with all that actually happening or that that gas that's being used in the cars will not be used. That'll be saved or protected. Planting trees. Here we are, Mr. Larry. When we plant a tree, make sure that you plant a tree when you cut one down, if you have to cut one down. If you don't have to cut them down, don't cut them down. Plant more trees and more bushes and make them very, very healthy that they grow big and strong. Just make sure that you plant the native ones that belong here in Pennsylvania. You don't want them uh, planted if they don't belong here. Using less paper. We talked about that in the beginning. Using less paper means use two sides. Use this side and this side when you're done with it. I'm going to make notes on this when I'm done. So this is going to be a good way to conserve energy as well. Ride your bike or walk places. If you're able to walk or ride, and parents, same thing. Get out there and ride your bike. Walk. I see a lot of that right now. It's really cool to watch these families walking and biking together on trails. Keep doing that. And then the last one that we talked about with brushing your teeth or using water in the sink or the shower, please make sure that you do not keep that water running when you don't have to. That's water down the drain, and that's not good for our water resource and, and how we use, how much we use. So today we talked a little bit about reduce, reuse, and recycle. We talked about Earth Day. Date is, everybody say it at home as I say it, 
April 22nd every year. And I would like to see that you go out and try to reduce and reuse and then recycle at the end of that if you have to. Plant a tree. Go out. Enjoy nature today. Enjoy the earth as it is. When you celebrate Earth Day, think of that every day, not just one day, but every day that we have Earth Day. So happy Earth Day, everyone, and hope to see you next time. We are going to be planting seeds. So make sure that you get your lima bean seeds and make sure you get a plastic bag and cotton. And I will explain all of that to you on my next Science Corner for Mr. Day. Until then, have a great day and a great Earth Day.